weekend, Pope Francis made an interesting statement regarding family life. He called on the church to be more open to irregular families, such as single parents, LGBT people, and unmarried couples. He also called on governments to provide public health care and education in order to support families. Pope Francis did not, however, advance the church's position on a range of social issues, including contraception and the role of women in the church. Uh, he also makes a point saying that unions between same-sex couples are not marriages. And uh, this is interesting because we know we know that uh, him and uh, actually Bernie Sanders was uh, he was uh, ed, are invited to the Vatican to uh, see the Pope, and it's, it's just interesting because we know that they uh, they disagree on a range of social issues and uh, and a number of other things. But it is it's good that uh, you know the Pope is actually agreeing that we that the Church needs to be accepting and more uh, more for that in that in that sort of way. So. That I liked. I liked that a lot. Um, obviously, uh, there are the huge issues in the South with Mississippi, and uh, actually, the, the government even uh, calling off all of the uh, planned visits or trips to uh, Mississippi have been uh, not allowed, or the government won't fund those trips if you need to like visit there. And uh, another thing I noticed was. Uh, the uh, North Carolina thing, I talked about that last week, about how PayPal actually uh, shut down um, its plans to open a new uh, location that would have, like, 400 jobs and, like, get, you know, get that. And then, uh, actually, it was funny, I did not mention this one, uh, Bruce Springsteen canceled his visit to North Carolina, and that was, that was interesting because of that bill. So he says that uh, some things are just more important than a rock show. Which uh, I found totally, totally, totally interesting uh, as far as that goes. But uh, again, it's just good to see the the people coming back and uh, building back up towards you know more progressive uh, things. On Saturday, Bernie Sanders won the 250 people in Wyoming. Yep, that's 250 people. I'm not even kidding. I think the winning uh, number was like two or one something or something like that. Uh, that's how many people voted. Uh, both Sanders and Clinton won over seven, uh, won, uh, seven delegates, uh, making it interesting because Bernie Sanders wins 55% of the vote, but ties the delegates. Not really sure that works. And uh, Bernie actually picked up a super delegate the other day. Uh, that was that was uh, fun. So um, now it's time to look over this and think. So since the Arizona little debacle that happened, uh, what if Hillary hasn't won yet? Hillary has not won since Arizona. So what if Arizona was the last state that Hillary won in the primary races? Of course, uh, New York is coming up, and um, you know if Bernie wants to do well, he's going to have to spend a lot of time in that state. But what if? What if? This is a big if. What if Bernie wins New York? What if that actually happened? Like what if? Just just what if? What if? What would? What would? It's just like, it's like, it's great. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, Hillary would obviously have a lot of, uh, a lot to deal with. She would have a field day with that one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, um, anyways, that does it for, uh, this show. And, um, yeah, it's, it was a short one today. I didn't really have much to talk about. But, uh, yeah, it's a good time. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.